Say hello to Boston. Hello, Boston. Very yes. Cool. We are so happy to have you in our city. This is the best city on earth, if you don't know. I'm going to put you through something, if you don't mind. I'm ready. There's been about what I feel like a 200-year debate going okay. on in the city of Boston about who has the best pastries. Thank you. Is it Mike's Pastries or is it Modern Pastries? So we need someone who's not from Boston to do a your, taste test. I can be your objective opinion. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. We're going to give you Mike's first. Oh, you can't tell me that. Why? You're gonna. Oh, you're right. I wouldn't know the difference. Oh, it's like a cannoli. It's a cannoli. They're both known for their cannolis. Okay. Save your opinions for afterwards. Before I give you modern, and while you're chewing that, I'm gonna ask you a question. You, you've written so many songs for artists like Lady Antebellum, Blake Shelton, the list goes on and on. Is your happy place in the writing room or is it on stage? Um, being on stage is like more exciting, but it's not as creative as being a, like a writer. So uh, I think I talk about it like it's, it's a pair of shoes. There's a left foot and a right foot. I don't really haven't figured out a way to do one without the other, the other and still be happy. So I love I love both things. Um, Writing's a little more, uh, your home more, I like that part, but it's also like way more boring, <laughs> so. Because you're like, all right, gotta wake up. This is more up. exciting, a little less creative, but um, yeah. it, there, I mean, it's all music, and that's what we all got into, into this to do, so. Awesome, are you ready for the second one from Give Modern Pastry? This, that was delicious, I have to say, either right. way. Either way, but this is the debate that's been going on for so many years. They're different. They're different, are they? I'm gonna let you take both of these home so you can finish them on your tour bus. Maybe share one with your wife, Marin Morris. Give it up for Marin Morris, who's headlining. Now, when you guys- I've never eaten a cannoli on camera before. I know, I'm sorry. But I did ask for your approval beforehand, yeah, so you did um, give me the A-okay. <laughs> I think number one. Number one, Mike's Pastries. Did I choose right? I don't know. No, I, there's no right or wrong. I just wanted to know your I thought opinion. Was, they're both delicious. The second one is a little lighter. Okay. Or the first one's a little heavier, a little richer. Whatever. We're going to give you both to take home, so don't worry. I was going to ask. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're so welcome. So at home, you have two hard-charging couples who happen to be married. Do you guys ever get in disagreements, fight? Is there f competition between you two as artists? I think I would lose. So, no. But is there that fire uh, no. in your belly where you're like, oh. No, I think I learn a lot watching Marin. So, like, she's really good at every part of this job. And so I've, I just get to watch and see where, like, see what to do that is good. So I've watched other people and found out what not to do. And uh, yes. But I love, I don't know, we, we still get to write together and be creative and sing, you know, whenever we're out on the road together. We just, usually somebody will come up and sing with, uh, the other one. So... It's fun, uh, but no, never competitive. That would be really disappointing for me. Well, that's also what I was wondering. You guys started off as friends, and you were just writing together. Do sure. you find it distracting now to be in the same writing room as your wife and being like, all right, we got to write a song now, but I really want to kiss you? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I wanted to do that before we were even dating, so <laughs> that hadn't changed. Uh, I think... Writing isn't the most important thing anymore, if that makes sense. Okay. Like, it's what still is? really fun to do whenever we get the opportunity. And I think we're just kind of coming into another little creative space that's really cool that we've never been before. Um, but I just, you know, you have a life together, and so there's so many things now that are more important than writing songs together. But I love that part. I mean, everything in my life I have because of songs. So, like, my career, my record deal... Uh, my house. Your wife. My wife. So like, I don't <laughs> Your know. Your dog. I, I is the dog a, in that equation? The dog. Yeah. Gosh, the dog. Yeah. Oh, the dog. But uh, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I still love whenever we get to do creative things together. But it's also fun to build a life outside of music too. Last but not least, you have a certified gold song with two a T. Congratulations. Yeah. What did you do to celebrate? Uh, well, 
We have a lot of plaques already at our house because of like me as a songwriter, and then Marin's yeah. got like a whole house worth of them at this point. <laughs> uh, so I, there's no more room on the wall, so I actually just went and like put it in the closet. And I like stopped myself. I was like, what are you doing? And I got yeah. it back out and I gave it its own chair. So my gold plaque, my gold record has its own chair now. So I don't know. It just was like a weird like reef. Like, I was like, oh, I guess I'll just put this with the other one. Oh, I can't wait. do that. This is mine. Do I put it up with the extra pair of no, shoes we're gonna and get hats? Like, or... We're going to get a wall specifically for mine with like specific lighting. Yes, yes. That's what we really need for my one gold record. But I'm really proud of it. It takes a lot of people to make a gold, like a gold record. And yes. Like all these people who take us to these radio stations, your producers, your managers, your whole... Your, there's just a million people and it, you can't even count them all. Radio stations like 1025, like it's crazy to like... Just I, when, I, when I got a record deal, I said if I ever got a gold record, it would all be worth it. So this is kind of a really cool check off the box. Well, we loved having you here at Country 1025 Street Party 2. If you have one thing to say to Boston, look in the camera, what would that be? Boston, you are absolutely relentless. Come see us in the wintertime when we come back. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayla Brown. Give it up one more time for Ryan Hurd. <laughs>